Happy Monday all my beautiful angels! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl Shyla, here with another video. I hope that you guys all had an amazing weekend. I hope that you did something fun, had something eventful going on. I have had nothing eventful go on for I don't know how long. So I just kind of hung out, did my workout, bumped up to week five in Bella's Fit Guide. Today we are going to be talking about week five of Bella's Fit Guide. We're going to be talking about my thoughts after completing my first month of the Fit Guide in our Get Fit with Shy um, episode two as we move towards to getting more fit through the summer. Before we get going though into that too much, here I am sighing again. I, you know, you could probably play a drinking game on how many times I sigh in a video. I feel like I do it a lot, especially when I'm watching it back and I'm editing. I'm like, I just sigh again. I'm like literally sighing all the time. Anyway, before we get going, take a second, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell button. That way you're notified whenever I post a new video. If you're new here, I post every Monday, every Friday, occasionally on a Wednesday I'll post. Depends on how the mood strikes me. But with the bell button turned on, you will be notified whenever I post a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, as usual, I appreciate every single one of you. And it looks like we have quite a few new subscribers after the, after the swimwear haul video. Apparently I don't think you guys like that one, so we'll have to do another one of those soon. Um, which makes me happy because I was pretty self conscious about making it. Anyway, I digress. Um, also, don't forget to check out my Instagram. I post there every day. Generally, I'm not posting there currently. I'm just posting in my stories, not so much in the posts because apparently I've been shadow banned, the elusive shadow ban. <sighs> that you'll notice if you have a business account and your account stops having interactions from hashtags on your posts, which happens, I guess, whatever. I don't know why they're doing it. Them and their crazy algorithms, whatever. Anyway, um, we get to be friends, we get to be interactive, as long as you're not creepy. And of course, don't forget to check out my Poshmark. I added a bunch of stuff to my Poshmark yesterday, mainly jeans. If you're a little bit bigger girl like I am, you'll want to check it out because I do have lots of stuff on my Poshmark that you might like um, that I buy and I don't necessarily wear because I have a lot of stuff or I just didn't like the way it fit my particular body shape, so I listed it on my Poshmark. Anyway, we're going to be jumping right into Bella's Guide today. So today we are starting week five of Bella's Guide and talking to Bella about her guide. She told me that week five is when it really, really starts to get tough. Now, my thoughts on the guide so far, okay? If you remember back to my first, my first video that I did after I, after the first, uh, after I did the first workout, I was talking about how it wasn't too tough. Um, the reps were pretty low and Bella told me herself that she started it that way intentionally because you're building up to it. Now I will say, I will say starting about week three, I noticed that it was definitely getting more difficult as she started adding more repetitions, uh, more reps and more sets into it. And I have also been using progressive overload, which I recommend to everybody that's working out on my, on my, um, on my lips. And I've been using them if it feels like it's too easy or um, if I notice that the sets have stayed the same but the reps have gone up, generally I've increased the weight to go with it. I've noticed if we're adding more sets in, like if we increase from three sets to four sets or four sets to five sets, I've kept the weight the same because I'm adding an entire another set at that weight. Um, unless I feel it's like, way too easy and then I'll add another one in. Um, I have noticed, I did start noticing, and <laughs> this is so much different from my workouts. I am not new to working out by any means. I have noticed doing Bella's Guide starting about week three, in week three and week four, after the leg days, and I don't consider myself a beginner by any means. I know I'm not like super advanced, like fitness influencer type or anything, but I don't think that I'm like beginner. But I noticed after doing her workout on her leg days that I was sore. I mean, I was like pretty sore the next day and even a day after that in my quads. So it's definitely working and I'm definitely feeling it. Um, you know, I would get sore afterwards, but then I would really feel it the next day. So yeah, kudos to her. She's kicking my ass at it. But I do want to talk a little bit about the guide. Um, a couple of really nice features that I like the guy, about the guide that sets this guide apart from other guides. Now I've only used one other guide. I'm not going to name names because I don't want to talk. I don't want anyone to think I'm talking bad about them. But I've only used one other guide. And one thing I've noticed about Bella's guide compared to other guides is that it doesn't have a lot of extra, extra stuff that you have to be a 
that you have to be a super in shape influencer type girl or a super skinny girl to be able to do. There were a lot of lifts, uh, there were a lot of exercises in the other guide that I was using that I was constantly changing. Anything that has a jump, anything that has a jumping squat, a jumping lunge, a jumping twisting squat, anything like that I was having to change because I am not little and if I am trying to do these jumping squats non-stop or jumping lunges or jumping rotating lunges or anything like that, especially with my knees, it, I'm not going to last very long. I tried to I tried to follow the guide to the T and it was absolutely killing me. So I will say kudos to Bella that her guide concentrates mainly on on the, the lifts that are important to you, the lifts that you need to really make sense to you. Now, okay, now we're going to talk about the guide and um, I'm going to put the guide up right here next to me so you can see what I'm doing because you could do the guide either on your phone or you could do the guide on your on like your iPad because it is an app, the Athlete app. And as you can see, I am 17% done on the intermediate to advanced one. Um, so when you go into your workouts, I'm just going to go into the week one, lower body. One of the things I like is if you pop into this detail screen, it's not going to show it on mine right here because I am using my iPad um, for this, so it's not corresponding between the two here. This will show your previous weights lifted and the sets that you've done. So when you're doing your exercises, it'll keep track as opposed to having to, you know, if you have doing a long guide as opposed to having to make notes for yourself at what weight you're at, at what, what weight you did previously. So that way you know how much you're doing on your next one. Because if you get a lot of lifts going on, it's hard to keep track of it, at least for me, if you have a lot going on in your mind. This keeps track of it all for you. So you can just look and, and reference it and see what you lifted last time. So you know exactly what to go up to. So you can see how many, you can see how many sets, how many reps, what weight you did. So if you're doing, if you're progressively overloading, you know when to move up to your next weight. And another thing I like that other ones don't have is if you go back here, if you're ever confused about an exercise, you can click on the video and and the video will actually have a small video that will pop up of Bella actually doing the exercise, which I think is really, really awesome because a lot of times the verbiage is a little different and I'm not going to lie, there's a couple of times that I've wanted to see exactly if her thoughts on things were the same as my my thoughts on things, on, on what she means when she says something like for... I always called military press for, for your shoulders and she calls it overhead press. So I'm glad she has the video on here because otherwise I would have been doing the wrong thing. And on other guides that I've used before, it's just been like, like pictures of someone doing it, which is not the same as actually just being able to click on the video real fast to see exactly the example of what she means on it. So I really, really like that. Um, I really, really like that about the about the app and about the way she has it set up that you can just go in there and see it. I think that that's really, really clever. So now that we talked about the, the guide a little before this gets like super long, let's pop into the workout. Now I am not going to record the workout every single time that I do the workout because we want you to we want you to to get Bella's guide. Obviously, I don't want to be recording, you know six different workouts. Um, so I'm going to record this one though because it was week five and she did say this one I was going to start dying on so I wanted to record it for you. Um, so let's pop into the week five workout and I'll give you my thoughts after it.
Okay, I just finished up week five, first workout of week five, and I'm really winded. I started with a 20 minute warm up run, and then um, my glute activation, which I didn't film. It's pretty much the same every week, so I don't want to film it because, you know, the bell's guide. But it's good, it's a good glute workout. It doesn't wear you out, but it does get your, your glutes activated. And then I jumped into the workout and she was 100% right. Week five was definitely tough. Not saying week four wasn't tough, but week five was definitely tough. It definitely added in some more sets. The one that really killed me was the squats because I, the most, the most I've ever done on squats is four sets and this week I had five sets and squats isn't my best thing, but I'm pretty worn out and I don't know if you noticed from the first video, but I am starting to feel good in my, in my hip thrust, in my, my area down there of healing. I'm feeling like I can actually do more weight and start getting back to where I was in my hip thrusts, um, which makes me happy. As you can see this week I did, I think it was five sets, five sets of 15 with 185 pounds, which makes me happy because I didn't do very much in the very first week. So I've gone, gone back up quite a bit towards getting back towards where I was before my, my, my surgery. Um, and then at the end of my workout, I, um, I bumped up my time on my elliptical. I'm now up to 20 minutes for my final run at the end. This month I'll probably start doing workout a second cardio workout at the end of the day too, um, but I am definitely feeling the burn from today's workout. I am, I'm dying, so two very enthusiastic thumbs up. I am absolutely worn out. Okay, so that was the week five workout. So as you could see by how I was dying at the end of it, it was definitely a difficult workout. It was definitely tough. Um, um, I am not gonna do a weigh-in today and I'm not gonna do, um, I'm not gonna do um, an update on my progress for my measurements today. I decided I'm going to do it once at three months and once at six months and full disclosure the reason being for that is I haven't lost anything and it's not because of Bella's Guide. I have not lost anything because I had such a rough month last month between stress, um, between stress from work and stress with my other cat and I ate so bad last month it has nothing to do with my progress from Bella's Guide or how good Bella's Guide it is just I failed miserably on my diet last month. So <laughs> I'm gonna pick it up this month. I did do all the workouts so <laughs> I did that so I'm keeping up with the workouts but I failed miserably with the diet part of it. So I'm not gonna do the weigh-in because I weigh exactly the same. Uh, I'm not going to do all of that. I'm not going to do the measurements. We're going to do it at three months and then we'll have a comparison. And again, at the very end, at six months, we'll do a comparison then. So that is the answer for the update for, um, for the fitness part of it. I hope that you guys like the workout. Um, so far, going into month number two, I 100% recommend Bella's Guide. If you're like on the fence about getting it, I would definitely get it. Even though it is kind of a long guy, a, a long, um, you know, it's six months long. So even though it is 24 weeks, it's definitely worth it. I mean, you kind of want it to be longer. You kind of want a guide to be longer because it's going to be a long-term commitment to get the results that you want. And if you're only doing something for a couple of months, you're probably not going to see the, see the same results as, as opposed to doing it for six months. So I kind of like that about it. So other than that, I hope that you guys liked the video. I know it wasn't like super exciting. I know it wasn't a try. I want more of those coming. But other than that, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you guys back on Friday with another video. Love you all.